Okay. Good morning, guys. Um, it is Saturday morning. Um, the seventh. We're on our way to Freightliner. See that? See the turn signals? See my wheel spin over there? See how it's coming on and off? The lights are off. Lights are totally off. I don't know if you can see that you see them lights on my dash now come check this out the lights are off they're not on and we're not talking about daylight we're talking about light okay i don't have my four ways on but they're on look at my trailer even if the four ways were on these lights aren't supposed to be blinking all the way down see that the reason why I'm making this film my truck has got a short if anybody there dares to tell me there's nothing wrong with my truck we are gonna have an issue today see see all my lights they're blinking every one top ones aren't but the bottom ones are all blinking even with the trailer unhooked it doesn't straighten my truck out at all See, all the lights are blinking. Bottom. My truck. Remember I said the headlights were off? My headlights are on. I just had my friend Angelo was with me. We just had that bulb change. It's out again. We just changed it two days ago. Again, my lights are off. The four ways are off. And it's just flashing up a storm. Let's go to Freightliner and see why I have a short before we have a truck that burns down. We'll be right back. All right, guys, my truck just stopped all the flashing. It ain't flashing no more. You see that? We're at Freightliner. All the way here, it flashing. Now it ain't flashing one bit, but I do have video of it flashing. So I'm gonna show the guy. I'm not a whistling Dixie here. We're gonna. We're. It's gonna get fixed right now. So stay tuned. We're going inside. We're gonna go see these guys right now. Yeah. Give me one second. I'm walking I'm walking up to this window. Give me one second. I want to hear the rest of that though. Yes, sir. I need to talk to a smart guy well, that is willing to listen. Him Are you him? No, you won't find him here. Okay. <laughs> I know this is gonna sound weird, but I do have video. Of everything that, that and it did it all the way here I pulled right during your service you and all did. of a sudden it stopped but I got video of it <laughs> my only concern is I don't want a truck fire mm -hmm. and I know out of five trucks I see going down the road we've been seeing a lot of truck fires out there it's nothing against Freightliner but I got two little dogs and I live in my truck mm -hmm. I don't want a truck fire mm -hmm. but what was happening 11 o'clock last night all the lights on the dash, uh, the headlights, the four ways, and it's not like it's, you know how four ways flash at the same time? Mm -hmm. It's not doing that, it's doing this. I'm gonna stop until you're looking at me. Four ways alternating. It's all the lights, uh, trailer, uh, even the, the lights down below in the back of the trailer, headlights, four ways, uh, even when I shut the truck off, you can still Have you hear. Have tried like disconnecting the trailer and seeing if it yeah, stopped? I shut off the batteries. I disconnected the trailer. I, I, I even, I got that switch right there that shuts off the batteries. I shut that off because and even, it didn't stop it. Uh, well, when I shut the batteries yeah. off, it did. Yeah. But even with the truck just off, 
and the battery's on, you can still hear the four ways. You can hear that clicking, click, 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 click. And that's with the truck off, mm -hmm. nothing on. Now, I, I have no clue why, but nothing is, uh, the, the computer screen that's on, on my dash that tells you your miles per gallon and all that, mm -hmm. none of that works. I can't set the cruise and, and bump it up so the truck, the truck won't, I don't know what that mm -hmm. has to do with, unless that's electrical too. Yeah. But this thing was going haywire. Now, I do have, uh, I, I showed everybody, I got a YouTube channel, so I showed everybody what this thing was doing. As soon as I got here, I showed everybody, look, it just stopped. Everything stopped. So, I just want to see if my computer's not, maybe my truck got hit by lightning. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It happened at 11 o'clock, and you guys had some tremendous storms that came through here last night. That's the first time I did it was last night? At 11 o'clock last night, first time. First time it ever even, hit, you know... I called Mike, I, I drive from our course guy. Mm -hmm. I called Mike last night, 11 o'clock, I got him out of bed. And I told him about it. He said, okay, let's get it over to Freightliner. I'm gonna go in. I'm still kinda waiting for them to look at the truck. So we're gonna go in and ask them. But right now the truck ain't acting up. But we're gonna go in and ask them, is it seriously gonna be a while? I can't lose my load. There's other freight liners along the way. It's going to be a while before they can look at us. I'm just going to hook up and go. I can't sit here all day. I can't sit here all weekend. That load is actually paying me something. So I want them to be just frank with me. Be honest. Is it going to be a while? Let's go find out. It's noon. I got to know. Could be all day, huh? Could be. We're going to go ahead and go with it. Okay. Burns down, it burns down. All right. I'm sure it's under a warranty. Yeah, I don't know what they got for warranty. I don't know what they got yet. Would have been nice if they could have just checked to see if it was corrosive batteries or whatever that was. I, I know it's ground. It ain't raining, so it ain't doing a dang thing. Yeah. It starts raining, it's going to do it again. No need to sit here and look stupid, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook up, go pick up my load and right. roll with it. Sounds good. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and take off because they can't get to it. They just can't get to it, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Hook up to our trailer. We're gonna hit the creek with it. We'll pick up that load. I ain't gonna sit here all day. No way. They are, a they, they do have five stars, they're rated, but they're busy, you know. I, I'm coming in here like, like it's a, a, one of our shops, you know, like a fleet shop. But, uh, let's get out of here. Watch out. Let's get out of here. I do have everything set up, though. See? Got the cage, got the dogs where I can get them out and get myself out of here if we have to escape from the truck. So anyway, I got to get the creep, pick up my load. Oh yeah. You can go. Come on up. Alright, I got to go to, I got to go put reefer fuel in my reefer first. And we're going to go over to Sap Brothers real quick get reefer fuel and then from there go to creek we'll pick up our load and uh long as it ain't raining my truck 500 is, feet turn right on north 56th street it's doing okay but we're gonna run into some tropical rain i'm sure because you know that little hurricane that's gonna be running up through the south if it acts up along the way, I just gotta go find, I just gotta find a Freightliner. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Sometimes I get burnt out on these videos. I really do. I like, uh, I like to see positive things and I like to see the channel grow. And when I don't really see that, it just, I don't know, it just pushes me to not want to do it, you know? 
I, I like success. Anything that I do, I love success. I like being successful. And if I don't get that successful, I usually walk away from something. In a quarter of a mile, take the entrance to the left on I-80 West. But anyway, let's go get some fuel for the reefer. Hit the creek. Man. You can see how much rain they got here. Them ditches are full. Well, you guys been here before with me. Nothing changed. We're in Crete. We gotta drop this wagon. And we're gonna pick up our load at the same place. Drop and hook. That's what it is. We got to inspect that other trailer that we're getting. Make sure it passes DOT and everything. Landing gear cranks up. my bus I don't care if it's on the bottom of my shoes but look at that I gotta step right in there but anyway I'm gonna drop my wagon we gotta pick up that next load or pick up the next wagon so we'll be right back all right I'm 140 pounds over 80,000 so I gotta go back over here I need a shag driver. I usually call them yard dogs, but I need a shag driver to come over, give me some assistance. Because if I get out and do it, then I don't have my weight in this truck. See if we can get him on. Hey, shag driver, you got a copy on me?
I want to see that you get a raise. I thank you very much. I know the old man that runs this because he's subscribed to my channel. So every time he, he sees me come in here, he says, I like it when you go in there because I work there. That's my, I, I'm the CEO. And I said, really? Cool, man. That is great. He said, I subscribed to your channel the other day. So what's your name? <laughs> I told him, I told you your name, go left. Go left? Go left. I won't, I promise. Sunshine. Sunshine, okay. I'm going to definitely tell him that you helped me. I wasn't trying, I'm, I knew if I'd have came out of the truck, I wouldn't have been over because I'm 200 pounds, so that would have only been 79. So they wouldn't have fixed me. Even they said, make sure you're in the truck so that way we know you're over gross. Thank you. I owe you one. Her name is Sunshine. Now we got the proof. Now we're going to go back over and get worked on. Anyway, let's go get ourselves. Yeah, I'm one. 140 pounds over my gross that's not acceptable that's a ticket if you get caught you can be over a little bit on an axle but you can't be over on gross so we're going to get this fixed we'll be right back all right that's my steer right there now let's see what my That's my oh, focus camera. 43060. Alright. Here's my gross weight right there. Focus camera. 79520. Now let's see what I am on my trailer so let me write 79 520 take away 43 zero four zero She's on 36, 480, so we're going to get off the scale. We're going to get off the scale and put my axles back. I tried to tell them that's where I'm the heaviest. I should be able to fix my trailer no problem. So we're gonna go back there and see exactly where it's setting at. Because it says I'm 36,000 on my trailer. So let's see where that trailer's sitting at. Hope I don't have to break no bridge law. Go back there and look at it. I don't know. Did I set? I think I did. Did I pull the trailer brake? I don't remember. 
remember. Nope. No, I did it. See where I'm at. Well, let's slide her back. We still got a ways to go back, I guess. Alright, let's slide them. See if we can, uh... I'm under growth, so I should be able to fix that axle. Hopefully. I'm good on my, uh, on my drives. Watch out! Whew. I'm good on my drives. <coughs> now we'll see what we are. All right, get back up on that skill. Okay, everybody, it's been a while since I made a video because I've been stuck at that place. It's 1021 at night now. We're gonna rescale the load now. Yeah, you heard me right. I've been been here all day today just to get the load refixed. Now we're gonna see what our weight is now. Earlier, remember, I don't know, but I was over gross. So I was 80,140. Now we're gonna see what we are. Okay, this is the deal. I'm still in Creek. You guys see that? I'm, I'm in line. The first time I was overweight by gross, 80,140. That was around 2 o'clock. Then, finally, 11 o'clock tonight. They fixed it. In other words, they lightened the load. But I also told them I was 39,000 on the trailer and I was only 30,000 on, on the truck. I said, I'm heavy on the truck or on the trailer. We, I, I took it back over, reweighted. Still 30,000 on the truck, 35,000 on the trailer. So I, I bring it back over here. He said, well, can't you just slide the axles all the way to the back? No, can't do that. There's a bridge law. A lot of people don't realize, not only can you not be overweight, but there's a bridge law. And two, that's a good way for a tra trailer to buckle because of the weight. So I bring it back over and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Finally, I told him, I said, I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm dropping it get the yard guy to put it in the dock because I'm going to bed. So we're going to bed. Right? Jake? It's time to go to bed. Seriously, it is. And I got to be up in three hours because I got to do my radio show. It's two o'clock. Time to go to bed. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Good night. Later.